hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl azine williams how are you all doing hope you guys are good hope you guys are fine if you're new to this channel kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video okay guys so i'm super excited today because i mean it's all good news good vibes yes guys your ex Virella niger housemates your faves are actually making you proud so where do i start from hmm i think we should just start from the shine your eye season now the it's girl of the season liquor rose has once again made the liquor lions proud yes guys as she has broken barriers she's actually the only ex big brother niger housemate to be nominated at the e choice awards like if you know the e choice awards you should know this is not a nigerian something this is and ac across the continent something. And I'm really, really excited for her. She has broken that whole Big Brother Niger tag. She has, like, mm, she's the it girl of the season. Yes, guys, she has been nominated as, or in the category of the African Social Star of the Year, alongside other fabulous at, um, people all over the continent. And you know, this, this is, is really, really huge. And she has made her fan base proud. She has made Nigeria proud. Do you know how you can make her proud by actually going to vote? Yes, guys, you can go to the um, e-portal, you know, to vote for your fave because I mean, let her bring this home. Yes, guys, away from all that, let's go over to Bella. Now we can also add Video Vixen to being an influencer for Bella. Yes, guys, as she is the Video Vixen for Ruga newest song or newest music video red flags i love this <laughs> imagine our big bella a video vixen like i saw a clip of it and i'm like okay this is this is good a lot of people are saying that that song was actually sung for bella i've not listened to the song myself i'll make it you know i'll make a note you know to listen to it after this video to know how this song is all about bella yes guys now for those of you who do not know ruga like the guy with the pink hair i'm not talking about groovy you know with the eye patch i mean the guy that has given us back-to-back -back hits you know from girlfriend to band i mean we all know ruga and i'm so looking forward to it while she's not the only ex brother niger housemate that has you know recently become a video vixen sasuke too was also featured in mega i've forgotten that guy's name like i know his name but to pronounce it is it mega six i don't know he's part of um the maven crew you know that his song that he sang um chop banana like monkey like i saw the video yesterday and sasuke killed it like sasuke looks like an african barbie like her, her melanin was so popping i love it i love you know me now isn't it it's always excited when it's all about good news now away from that people of god hmm Maki Maki Billions. My name is Maki. Maki Maki Maki. Well, Maki Billions and Maka is making her fans proud as she has just signed one of her first major deals, and that is with Be Unique Wears. Oh um, uh, <laughs> When I saw this video of the ads, I'm like, oh my goodness, is that Amaka? She looks so different. I love it. I mean, these Be Unique Wears have got like it's a clothing collection or a clothing store that has one of the best for plus size women, for moderate size women, for slim women, everything you need, they've got it. And if you love Amaka, if you love the level two ex housemate, if you love the ex housemate in general, make sure you go patronize them. And that's another way you can actually support Amaka. Because for me, it's not just about your face signing the deals. It's also about you, the fans patronizing them. Yes, guys, away from that, let's go over to Miss Esmeralda herself. That is, none other than doing and before i talk about that doing and cheesy has been giving us a couple of moments me i don't want to hear all these things they are saying that oh it's um what's the word that is it's a spiritual friendship i be whatever whatever i don't want to hear it for me it's a ship and this ship is looking shippable in my eye i mean my people what's your people i mean what, what are people saying about this is this not a shippable ship let's ship it all if you're a shipper you better jump on this ship and ship it with your full chest because ah they are not stopping anytime soon now back to doing now you all know doing signed on um signed with a new management and she has come out that she is now one of the newest brand ambassadors for strictly weight loss and for me i feel like this is a perfect partnership doing strictly weight loss you might not understand but i'll explain back in the house what is that one thing doing dislikes doing in the house that she does aside from cooking doing does not like 
exercising. And this is a company that, you know, lets you know that you can actually lose weight without, you know, putting in all that effort or just by drinking one or two things here and there. And doing is the perfect fit for that. So, yes, that's why I said it's a beautiful partnership, a partnership made in heaven, if we are to say so. Yes, guys, now away from that. Hmm... So you guys remember Dynasty Lounge in Worry? For those of you who do not remember, I remember um, last year they invited um, Angel, Cross, and White Money. Well, this year they are inviting Fina, Groovy, and of course her mates. I don't know if they are inviting any other person, but these three, I saw their flyers. And it will be on the 30th of October, which is this Sunday. Yes, guys, they're going to be shutting down Worry. So if you are a fan of Hermes, yes guys, the coolest tribe, if you are a groovy fan the groovers, or if you are a Fina fan, the Fee Nation make sure you are there to celebrate with your fave, and maybe if you are a shipper of groovy and Fina, the groovers make sure you are there, I don't know, but this Dynasty Lounge, yeah, they have a thing of inviting ships, I mean they did it last season with Cross and Angel when they were still loving the and they are doing it this season with Groovy and Fina I go love <laughs> Anyways, away from all that, let's go into something that caught my attention yesterday. So that is the price or the amount of money your faves are actually charging for influencing deals or for ambassador deals or whatever it is. Um, uh, I stumbled upon this whole um, prizes. You know, um, first I saw that of Chichi. Then I saw that of Fam Savvy. I'm like, whoa, isn't it? You are here just talking, wasting your saliva. When you are supposed to be collecting 10 million, I'll be 20 million per year. Or um, uh, just for a post, oh. Just for a post. Six months post, Chichi says, you guys have got to pay her 10 million naira. For one year, you've got to pay her 20 million naira. For Fam Savvy, a year, you got to pay him 10 million naira. Whoa! <laughs> um, uh, this sparked a whole lot of outrage on Twitter. I, it was trending like a lot of people were like, "These housemates are not ready in this economic crunch. You guys are not serious." But what do I think about this? Hmm. Well, to be very honest, I actually think in this time, yes, it's good to know your words and all that. But then again, there are some things that are very, very on the high side. Especially now that economy is biting people, yeah? And it's not just about them handing over the money to you. Every company is looking at what value are you going to bring to their company? What star power do you have to make people patronize them? You know, that is why a lot of people pay millions hundreds of millions to Big Brother Niger to have their ads on the Big Brother Niger show because they know that millions and millions, if not billions of people watch the show, so they know they are going to be making more than that. Now, it's not just about placing 20 million, 10 million. Can you deliver? Because nobody wants to take you know, um, their money and flush down the toilet. Can you actually deliver? And I think that's one thing they should just go and ask themselves. Do they have the power to deliver? Is their star power what's that thing that they are charging? If you think, okay, it's worth it, then fine, honey, go ahead. But then again, you should also realize that if you are not going to take that money that they are giving you, it's good to know your worth too. But sometimes it's also good to be realistic especially when you've just started and everything, you know, it's better to have, um, imagine having 10, um, maybe five, five million naira deals, 10, five, five million naira deals than having just one 20 million naira deal. I might not be making sense, but I mean, we have another big brother coming up in what two, I mean, four to five months now. So, um, yeah, I think they better just have a rethink of this because, ugh. I don't know what to say, Sha. I, I think I just made my point with the little I've said. What you guys think, oh, let me know in the comments section. On that note, I say thank you all so very much for being part of my channel. 
If you've not already subscribed, what exactly are you waiting for? Kindly click on the subscription button, click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Until I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, AZ Neil Williams. Have yourself a beautiful, wonderful day ahead. Hello everyone. So pardon my cracked voice or I wanted to speak about what's happening in Nigeria as regards the flooding. Um, it's very devastating what's happening and I sincerely sympathize with everyone that has been affected either directly or indirectly. These are trying times for every single one of us. Lives and properties are being lost. Thousands of people have been displaced. Things are on a surge. As of last week, I bought a bag of rice in Bayosa at 65,000 naira. A litre of fuel was selling for 850 naira. It's not even about having the money to buy, it's what you see to buy. It was so hard seeing Gary to buy. How will you see? The road to Port Harcourt is flooded, the road to Delta is flooded. Bayelsa is literally cut off from the rest of the country. I pray that God replaces every single thing that has been lost with something much, much, much more better. And may God give us the strength and the courage to scale through the situation. I'm doing everything I can to help. I've made arrangements for more relief items, medicines, mosquito nets. And I would also like to call on the governments, both federal and state governments, to please step up their efforts in taking care of the flood victims. And to everyone out there in a capacity to help, you don't have to do too much. People are dying. I saw a video of children this close to dying from malaria and it totally broke my heart. Whatever you can to support, donate to the IDP camps. If you have someone over there that you trust, tell them to buy stuff and take to them. Even better, I'd like to encourage everyone affected to stay hopeful and remember that these two shall pass.